Chris live in Tallahassee this Thursday night, 10.30 p.m. here on Fox 49. How about our big story? Because before springtime happens, during session every year, another big event brings children, families, schools, all kinds of people to Tallahassee, and that is Children's Week. And you were there. I was there. Let's take a look at what happened at Children's Week 2012. Behind me are just 100 of children's hands representing over a thousand hands that are hanging in the Capitol this week during Children's Week. We are at the big advocacy dinner and this is an exciting time because all the important people have turned out to make sure that we remember that children are important. Alright, Joel Silver live in Tallahassee now with Aurora, who we're going to see if she's ready to talk on camera. Not sure how this is going to go. Aurora, how exciting is this? A week about children. This is your week. It's that exciting, is it? Tell me your name and what school you go to. Um, I go to Creative Preschool and my name is Aurora. And tell me what you're doing here today. I'm singing. And what song are you going to sing? We're singing Put a Little Love in Your Heart. That sounds nice. You're going to sing for all the grown-ups here and show them how cute kids are. Yes. And are you cute? Yes. Okay. She said she's cute. All right. There's Aurora, everybody. We'll be seeing her singing real soon. In the middle of the whole room now with the man who knows about children. Secretary of Department of Children and Families, David Wilkins. And Mr. Secretary, this is an amazing event. Well, this really is. I mean, this is sort of the kickoff to the, the week of children's focuses on all the issues that are, uh, related to children in the legislature. So, you know, you've got a wide variety of people here from... Uh, people who really focus on the, the, the foster care programs, to the early learning programs, to the health care, to the education. And Florida children are the best in the country. Why? <laughs> well, they, children get to live in this great state. But at the same time, I mean, you know, this state really takes our children seriously. And uh, the importance of investing in kids at the early age, everybody knows the return on our investment. And, I, you know, I think a little bit about it is uh, the demographics of this state. And, uh, you know, having a, an older population who's a wiser population and knows the importance of investing in kids. All right. You heard it. Now, Mr. Secretary, we want to get you on the show sometime. Okay? So we're going to put you on the spot and ask you if you'll come on as a celebrity guest host with us in the future. Sure. I'd love to, I'd love to come as All a right. celebrity guest host. Here we go. In the coming weeks, Secretary Wilkins. We'll have him on. My name is Derek Griggins, and I, I think that uh, the Independent Living Program is a great program. And any type of time, anytime you provide a service for kids, it's such a wonderful opportunity. Being a recipient of a lot of the programs that have benefited kids, uh, have an opportunity to graduate from Florida State with my master's in administrative social work and getting ready to start law school is because of programs like this that help kids. Well, you see, that's how you do it for Children's Week. It's senators, governors, agency heads, and most importantly, everywhere you look, children. 
So it's been a great week here at Children's Week 2012 in Tallahassee, and thank you everybody who participated. Joel Silver live in Tallahassee here at the state capitol. And we don't come here often, but when they have thousands of kids running around, we got to find out what's going on. We are at Children's Week 2012, and this day is all about the kids of Florida. We're here to celebrate children and families. That's what it's all about, to make it happen, to become productive citizens, and to become fulfilled in our lives. Come on over here, Jason Zaborski. Children's Week 2012. Woo. He is the coordinator, the statewide coordinator of Children's Week, and here to tell us, was it difficult to corral thousands of kids? Always, always, but it's always a great time. So um, we've had a great day, it's been beautiful weather, and uh, like I said, thousands of kids coming out to get free books, free food, and uh, really enjoy the Capitol and meet with our legislators. We love Children's Week. We love Children's Week. I love Children's Week. Children's Week is awesome. We are the Capitol. Hi, I'm Kathy Ingram. I'm the Director of Business Development and Community Engagement with Nemours Bright Start. It's been a great day for us here. We've loved being able to extend the Nemours story to children and to educators and to the legislature. We are here for kids. Children's Week is awesome! My name is Kiwana Lawson. We are here from Favorite Child Development Center. This is the VPK class here. Can we say hey? And we're here to celebrate Children's Week at the Capitol. You could tell the day that the children come up here and what a display of all the art. A bunch of them have been asking me questions about how things work and where things are and that can only be good for the future of our state. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity and I wanted to bring her for the first time so she can start learning how to advocate at a young age. Uh, today is about children and showing up here during session has a big impact. You make sure that we do the right thing. We have to be very supportive of education and all the needs of children within the state of Florida uh, in order to come up with a well-educated, healthy next generation for our state. And today we we're here reading to school kids to try to encourage them to go to the library and online to read. And we listen to the children, we listen to the teens, we listen to um, different ones to see what you guys need so that your all's future is going to be what matters, okay? We're here to celebrate children and families. That's what it's all about. But not only are we celebrating children and families, we're here to help policymakers understand the challenges that children and families are facing. Thank you all for being here and have a wonderful 2012 Children's Week. That's going to wrap it up, but I want to make sure we send a special thank you out to everybody that helped. Everybody that helped in the planning. Everybody that came up to Tallahassee to take part in the week. And all the elected officials who stopped by to say hello. So we thank you all for being a part of Children's Week 2012. We hope you have a great year, and we'll see you for Children's Week 2013. So what would you think about that? I think it is fabulous, obviously, as a mommy. Kids are kind of important, in my opinion. And they were adorable. They were running around the Capitol talking to legislators <laughs> right. and, and pretending like they were, you know, doing the Capitol thing. And it's... It's probably good to teach them at a young age how important this process is so that they understand when they're older. The piece was a lot of fun, but they really were. They were talking to people, they were in meetings, and they were, they were doing real business and trying to promote children's issues. And that is a great thing. Yes, it is, and that's just the first of many great stories we have for you on this week's episode of Live in Tallahassee. We'll be taking a tour here through downtown Tallahassee, going to different places, and we'll also be bringing you some quick shots, including many other things. Let's go to break. We'll be back right after this. Don't miss Live in Tallahassee this Thursday night, 10.30 p.m. here on Fox 49.